From a party. Morning. It is the next day. So right now it is what time is it? 12:30. I woke up about an hour ago. You guys, I slept really good, but too long. Okay. So right now, <laughs> I am getting myself together. I'm about to. Um. Sorry, y'all. Let's see. Can you see me there? I'm about to. I'm just getting my purse, cleaning my purse out. Um, I have a little protein bar in my kit. Clean this bag. Clean out to run a couple of, what you ask? Errands. Okay. Um, this one is sunscreen on my face. I've been using this for a long time. A little does go a long way. Um, but make sure that I put it on on my face and on my neck. Um, for my other parts of my body, I have the regular sunscreen that I like to use. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to put it on your eyes. Don't do what I just did. But, I you know. Um, so. And then I usually try to put it on my hands because... You know, that's where they tell age. Hands, neck. So I usually try to put this on my hands. On the top of them, because. I'm trying to stay young and migrant. And my hands have always been wrinkly though. They've just always been wrinkly. Anyway, um, where is my wallet? I think my, my wallet is still in my other purse. Matter of fact, let me get it because I want to put everything in there. So, I'm about to eat this banana. But, um, because it is perfectly ripe now. Anyway, purse from last night. Just taking my wallet out. Throw these little papers away. I'll put it back in here. I got my like, cash everywhere. Since the bank is closed today, let me see. <laughs> let me see if I got enough cash to go run my errands. So I don't know ATM. Ooh, I don't think I got no gear. Man. Wait, let me look at my... Oh, gosh, man. $54. I was gonna look at me a massage, but, uh, massage today. But I don't think I got it. I have the money, but I don't have enough to do anything else. I always want Chick-fil-A every Sunday. It's always like, oh, let me go get Chick-fil-A. Girl, you can't. Okay, so this is what we gonna do. I have a Target pickup. I did actually do my stuff as a pickup so I could save myself some money. So it's ready. It was ready yesterday. Mmm. I was gonna go get some, a couple of things from Trader Joe's. Although I don't think I'm gonna spend over $60. You know how it be. I need to stick to the budget anyway because I've been like um, straying from the budget. I still need to get some broccoli, some asparagus, flowers. I think I can do that. Because I need spray oil, flowers, broccoli, and asparagus. I think that could be under $60, right? <sighs> Please leave it under $60. I mean, I could always go to Target and get cash back. I'm not going to do that. I need my ATM card to hurry up, honey. I need it to hurry up. 
I want coffee. It's one o'clock though. I slept so good last night. I don't know if coffee's gonna be good for me to be drinking this midday. Let me drink my own. Okay, y'all, I got this, uh, I guess it's a crop top and I got some overalls on, but they're shorts. So I have my peels here, my, um, okay, let me show you something. Because I take so many supplements, okay, um, I cannot fit them all in here, okay? I cannot fit them all in here. So, what I do is I put them up in. because, And also because there's so many, I'm not taking them all at once. I just can't take this many pills at once. So, I put a portion in this. So, today is Sunday. So, let me show you. Let me take them out. My fish oil, you gotta take three times a day. So I put three of them in here, but I only take one at the beginning. Put the other two in. This is my woman's one a day, my estrogen, fish oil, what I've just added to the roster, Osteoflex, for my joints. Yes, girl, it's come to Osteoflex, okay? Because the knees are not right. This is echinacea. And this is ginger. Okay. So I'm going to take these first. Then I'll show you what's in the other part. All these horse peels. This is ridiculous, man. Three more. Okay. Next. Oh. I'm not taking the rest of them right now, but I'm going to show you. What's the date? Today's the 18th. Your girl had to get a monthly pill organizer, honey. Look. It has the days of the month on there. There you go. So, today's the 18th. We pull out the 18th. It has AM, PM on it. You see that? So... I don't really care about AM, PM. I'm just trying to break them up in threes, okay? So, usually that first dose I would take in the morning, but I just woke up, so it's the morning for me. Excuse me. And then, the other ones, I take, you know, four hours apart, I guess. So, in here, this is glutamine. Like a fitness situation this is turmeric and ginger now turmeric and ginger or my ginger pill you take three days three times a day but because i have uh i'm running out of ginger it's almost gone so i bought the turmeric and ginger so what i'm doing with the gingers i'm taking it one time a day and taking the turmeric and ginger two times a day because the ginger is almost gone once the ginger is gone i'm just gonna up these to three and so two so this is in my first dosage so we got the Turmeric and ginger, the two glutamine peels, and then I have one of another peel. But this one is a three times, three peels, but I have one in one spot. That peel is my calcium, hold on. That peel that you take three times, three of, not three times, three of, it's calcium, magnesium, and zinc. So, I just happen to have one in one spot and the other two here. So, as long as I get three of them in, I don't care. Here's the other turmeric peel on the other side. This one's a, um, shoot, what is this one? This one's a super enzyme. Enzyme. It supports healthy digest, healthy digestion, breakdown, fats, carbs, protein, and optimizes nutrient availability. So this is a super enzyme. Put it back in there. This is a B12. I mean, this I can take right now because you just take it on your tongue. I got that from Trader Joe's. Mm. So gross, though. So gross. This one's a probiotic, and then this one 
is a potassium pill. Yes, girl, I got lots of supplements. So it's come to a point where I have to put them all in there because I don't, uh, uh. yeah. So today I'm not really tracking food or anything. I'm just gonna be eating. I don't know about you guys, but like when I'm not tracking or anything, like even yesterday I started to track, but I knew it was a downhill spiral, so I just stopped. Um, when I don't track or when I know I'm not gonna be eating like um, clean or perfect or um, with intent, I don't waste like supplements on them, like these types. I'm not taking, um, I mean, I could do this because this is a just like a regular supplement. This is collagen, so I I could take that. I'm not using my creatine. I'm not taking a protein power. I'm not using these protein shakes. I'm not going to use them at all. Yesterday, I tried to start like that's why you saw me drink my protein um, coffee, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not even going to use my protein milk. I will use regular almond milk if need be. I just feel like I don't want to waste them. For some bullshit you know what i mean like i feel like it'd be some bullshit like why am i wasting my good stuff for bullshit um so what i'm gonna do right now is make me something to eat i still want coffee though so maybe i'll go and get like one of them bs coffees from mcdonald's you know them them, them ain't about nothing them ain't about nothing okay so let me make this i'm gonna make me one of these bagel things and then I have this cream cheese that I got from Aldi a couple weeks back. Um, and what kind of bagels do you guys like? Do you like plain bagels with plain cream cheese? Do you like um, I have this cream cheese right here? Let me use this before I open that one. How do I have this in this? I don't know. Bubby, did you buy cream cheese? He must have, because this is the, ooh. Let's see, these are protein ones. I'm not going to do it. These are his. How many grams of protein this one got? 12 grams in this one. Oh, I didn't know that. How much mine's got? Probably nothing. Four. Okay, so. I got distracted. Let me finish my purse real quick. That's what I need to be doing. Let's try to finish putting this stuff in this purse. Thin. Really thin. Y'all can't see me hang. <laughs> I just needed it to warm up a little bit. Maybe I'll go back to this part. Um about that much on her. So yeah, how do you guys like to eat your bagels? Do you like flavored bagels? Do you like, you know what bagels are so good? Panera Bread's bagels, but the, the bagel I like at Panera Bread is a cheese, I don't know if it's a cheese. I think they have a cheese and a cheese jalapeno one. Bomb. If you've not tried Panera Bread's bagels, I mean, please, please do yourself a favor and do so. I'm going to try to measure this out. I'm going to put this on a scale and take from it because I think a serving is an ounce. Yep. So I have it on this scale and I'm just going to take it off and go from there. So that is... 50.50 of an ounce. I don't think I'm gonna need a full ounce for this. Maybe I will, who knows. I don't care for flavored um, cream cheese. And I have to be in the mood. I'm real plain Jane when it comes to my food. Um, and other than like a cream cheese bagel, I don't like like everything. I'll eat the raisin. The raisin one, the cinnamon raisin ones. Um, but I don't really care. I don't like to be getting all that garden sour cream chive and all that. Um, you know, and cream cheeses. I don't, I don't like all that. And so, usually, 
because at work when we went to the office, our supervisors would bring us Panera ones. And they'd be bringing all them for different spreads. Where is the plane? Where is the plane for me? So then I just, I'll eat like this. <laughs> After that. Plain Jane and Intra. You guys, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I love this bag. I wanna get another one now. I want another one. They have a denim one. So I don't know if I want denim or if I want the black one. Um, a lot of people that have the black one complain about the lint. Lint on the bag. And I can't say that this one attracts lint, but you can't really see it because it's, you know, like a khaki green. But I love this bag. I love this bag. It's the mini. It's it's like perfect. It's perfect. Um, and I get so many compliments on this bag. So many. I love it. Oh, so cute. So cute. I don't know if you know the bag. It has like this little Marc Jacobs pouch thing. And then it comes with this. It has this on the inside, but this this mini has nothing. I was thinking about getting a purse organizer for it. Hold on. A purse organizer for it because it literally has nothing. Now the medium one I think has organizers and pockets. This has no pockets, which I'm okay with because I don't really like to keep a whole bunch of stuff. Well, let me stop lying. I keep bags in there. So I was thinking about getting a purse organizer for it, but I love it. I want another one now. I want another bag, another color. Oh, this bag is so bomb to me. I just been finding myself carrying it more than other purses and I'm trying to get to where I start changing my purse out for like weekly but I get into habits of carrying the same purse over and over and over again and I know you guys probably do the same thing we are women we get into habits of just carrying the same purse before that purse I was carrying my speedy y'all need to see that but this right here this Dooney let me show y'all this Dooney I got this off Poshmark and it's authentic Dooney but my favorite color is green I was carrying this Dooney I, month I would change it out and then put it right back together it is bomb I love Dooney but Dooney and Burke purses um the inside is still clean I think I paid like $80 for this purse um I was carrying this purse for months like it didn't care I didn't care what the outfit was and then I have this other Dooney that I would switch out with I think I need to upgrade this one though because this one's this one's older than that one a bucket bag that I've had for years it was either this one or this one I love them but that green one that's my baby but I'm trying to lay off on her for a while because I will carry that purse wearing a red dress like huh? I was on the phone talking away I'm sorry y'all I'm, I'm sorry I'm bad I'm about to get my stuff from Target I've been on the phone talking let me okay y'all and Intra can be, um, I don't try to police people's friendships or whatever. That's not what I try to do. But I try to bring things to the forefront for folks, okay? I'm also the type of person these days that will say something. Because what I usually would do, if people annoyed me or, um, you know, upset me, I would just kind of keep it to myself. I've, ta I've stopped talking to a lot of people. Just stop talking to them. Um, and they don't even know why because I just didn't want to even deal with it. But these days I don't do that no more. Okay. So, and this is going to sound real petty coming out, but it's not in my mind. It's not petty to me in my mind. Okay. So I have, I'm going to put this up in the air. Friend, a friend, because that's what it is. I'm going to say an associate at this point because it's stuff janky. I, I, I'll exit stage left. But I told you about yourself before I mix it, okay? Because this is not the first situation I've had with her. Not the type of situation, but I've had a situation with her before. And we, you know, became friends again. But, child, you're janky. So, anyway, and side note, this is not the same people I was talking about before. 
Women are weird. Okay, anyway. So, I had my birthday party, right? And I invited, like, all my close friends, okay? So, the day before the party, um, one of my friends texted me, and she was like, oh, my God, friend, I just looked at your invitation again, and your party is tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah. She was like, oh, I thought it was on Sunday. I'm like, no. She's like, oh, I'm helping my boyfriend move. So I'm like, girl, when do you move anything? I've seen you move several times. You hire movers. So now you're helping a man move furniture? Lies, 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 lies. But I'm like, you know what? Okay, whatever. She's like, yeah, he's moving here with me. So, okay, back. It's my storage right now. So you're choosing. I'm at the Target each at the moment I'm here. So you're choosing to move furniture. So don't play me for the fool, because I ain't the one. But anyway, so um, somebody tells me now. I have a, I have another friend. Well, I'm not gonna say she's a friend anymore. She's a, a she's a real associate because we used to be really good friends. But you know, people just grow apart, and it's nothing even against her. We just grow apart. Um, and I met all these people, these particular people I met at church. I, I met the other girl, the one that we grew apart. I met her first. I've known her for a long time. Um, we just, you know, time goes on. People get life. So we just, and I don't even go to the church anymore. So that's, you know, I mainly see her there. But anyway, so somebody says, did you see such and such? such and such as post and I, my friend showed me this i said girl why'd you show me this because you already know that i'm gonna feel some type of way about it but it is what it is let me see what we got so this friend that was moving furniture was at this other chick's because her birthday is a couple of days after marriage she had a, a get together i guess so she was at this other chick's birthday get together or whatever and i'm like I don't even care about that, that you're friends with her. I don't care, shit. Have at it, because I, I mean, we're not friends, I'm not friends with her, I don't care. What I care about is how you at that, I don't care if it's the man on the moon's birthday party. I don't give a fuck, I don't care. How are you at they party, but you was moving furniture at mine? So if you was moving furniture during my party, you needed to be moving furniture during her fucking party too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's how I am. Ah, yes. Okay, anyway. So, me and Nitra Petty Bruce, I'm like, if you moving furniture for her party, for my party, you moving furniture for hers. So, I was like, I, I sat on it for a couple hours. I sat on it. I'm like, oh. Couldn't sit on no more. I, I, I had to text her. I had to text her. I had to text her and tell her, you know what? Don't even think this is me policing your friends because it's not policing your friends. You be friends with whatever you want to be friends with. That's not what I'm texting you about. I don't understand how you was moving furniture when it came to my birthday situation. Mind you, we're closer. We, we know each other. But you was all of... This is the thing. You wanted to show that man... You want somebody to see that damn man. And don't nobody want to see that man but you. Okay? We don't care about that man. You want to show that damn man so goddamn bad. Don't make no damn sense. So you over there sniggling, giggling, cheesing and shit. But we don't want to see that man. Anyway, so she started sending me this long paragraph. And she's like, I'm so sorry. I mixed the days up. It's my fault. I was so tired when we got done moving. And blah, blah, blah. And blue, blue, blue. And X, Y, Z. I don't care. And she was like, and me and such and such are mature enough, and we just, uh, whatever they did. I was like, girl, I don't care about you and such and such. Come on, if you, I, you just got there, or you want me to go? Um, I don't care about you and such and such. Like, that's not my, I don't care what y'all doing. So, great. I'm, I'm glad that you have another friend, because you didn't have many. But, oh, well, we, we, what did she say? We, something, we matured and stuff. And so I just simply texted her back and I said, you know what? I guess I'm not mature enough for this to make any sense to me. I'm done. And Nitra Bruce is done. And she gonna call or text, but she gonna know her. She gonna wait a couple of days, weeks, and that's fine. She can wait all the weeks and the months for all I damn care. I'm done.
done. I'm over these people. And I know some one one of y'all gonna be like Nitra. Now that's petty. It is. But you're not gonna choose to help no man move over me. I'm sorry. You're not choosing to help any man move and be up his asshole over Anitra. Sorry, it's not happening, boo. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care, and I don't care, and I don't care again. But we're about to go over to this Trader Joe's um, and get me some stuff, and then we'll come back and I will meal prep for the day. Um, I don't really want to do much of anything. I actually put clothes on. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. You can be honest. Um, don't be rude, girl. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. But be honest. I mean, tell me. You don't have to be on my side. I know everybody's not going to be on my side. I know that. I'm, I, I'm mature enough to understand that. But I'm like real. Um, when it comes to like days that celebrate people birthdays things like that I'm gonna be there for you that's just the type of friend that I am but you you moving fucking furniture if you don't get the hell out of here if you don't get on Joe furniture moving ass you ain't moving no damn furniture you just want to be up that man's asshole let that man breathe he could have did that shit on his own he got friends I'm sure you ain't moving no damn furniture child but yeah, let me know what you think below. Um, am I being petty? I know I am. I know I'm being petty, but it, it, sometimes you just got to let people know what it is. Um, and yeah, like I said, you do not have to agree with me. But please don't be rude because you just don't. Just don't do that. That's not even That's not even necessary, girl. It's not even necessary. But anyway, let me preserve some of my camera because I still cannot find any of my batteries i looked in my trunk i looked in my console i looked in my glove compartment i looked in purses that i've used um i don't know um when my mom was because my mom stayed over the night of my party i don't know if i had them somewhere and she put them somewhere i don't know if i had them somewhere and i put them somewhere you know how you try to hide school well, not hide so you put stuff where you're going to remember where you put it and then when it comes time to remember where you put it you don't remember where you put it well it's that same situation right now so yeah i'm on my way to Trader Joe's. i'm gonna be very specific and very <laughs> intentional in this grocery store because i only got sixty dollars and i cannot go over the sixty dollars i want the chrysanthemums like i had before because they lasted so long do that oh i like some mommy where the pretty ones? They look so these ones look good. These chrysanthemums. No, these are mums. Where are the chrysanthemums? I don't have them. From Trader Joe's I'll show you what I got when I got when I get back home listen don't lose your cards kids because I'm working with minimal funds I got nine dollars till tomorrow um I didn't get enough cash out the ATM obviously I mean out the bank yesterday obviously um I got a message saying that one of my auto payments didn't go through <laughs> and I know I wonder why it's because it's connected to my bank card. So, I'm gonna go in there and see if I can pay like with, um, oh shit. 
with um like my actual bank account number. If not, they'll just be waiting until I get my new card. That's cool. I ain't tripping. That auto pay comes out early than what I you would pay it on a regular basis anyway. So y'all was I was treating y'all when I was doing auto pay. I would go somewhere else, but the fact that Angel has no um Ooh, that sushi look good. I be wanting to try like other sushi rolls, but I'm scared. I'm not. I'm not adventurous when it comes to stuff like that. Somebody texted me. I just didn't respond. Who was it? This person in front of me. Well, they're way in front of me, but they're speeding. But they're swerving. So I'm gonna kind of stay back because you gonna you do that on your own time, not on mine. So I'm about to go home. Question, do you guys meal prep? And when I say meal prep, prep in bulk. I mean, even if you meal prep to prep the meals. Do you meal prep? Do you prep in bulk? Um, do you just wing it? What do you do? I think the days of winging it is over for me, you guys. I think those days are over. Um, and also, when I was cooking, you know, I meal prepped last... I didn't meal prep last Sunday when I was talking about it. Sunday before I meal prepped. Um, when I meal prepped the Sunday before. Oh shit! I gotta take that meat out. I didn't take the meat out. What time is it? It's two. Okay, if I put it in water, it can be um, it can be thawed out pretty quickly. Damn, I'm not gonna be able to meal prep right away. I can meal prep some things, but I'm not gonna be able to meal prep that meat till later on. I'm gonna cook the same thing that I did before the ground turkey and the chicken breast. Oh, listen, I put my foot up in that turkey and that chicken breast. The things was delicious. I am gonna go across the street. There's McDonald's. I'm gonna go get me an iced coffee because I haven't had it in so long. Because why? Say it with me. Sugar. I don't get those iced coffees anymore. But today's the day I don't give a crap. So. Back to what I was saying originally, I think I said this yesterday. Do you guys want to see? I think you guys do. I'm going to just answer the question for you. I think you guys would like me to do my What I Eat the Days again. Tomorrow starts a new week for me. Um, I'm trying to get back on track. I'm also going to start prepping myself to get back to work because, like I said, we do go back on the second. And I was just telling somebody, I'm ready to go back to work because I'm bored. But now I'm like, oh man, y'all, y'all. Interrupt my daily life. <laughs> start getting myself in the mode of that. Um, I'm gonna start getting up early in the morning to go to the gym. I wish they would go back to 24 hours so I can get there at 4:30, but I don't know when they're gonna do that. And they're still um, not open 24 hours anymore. They don't open till 5 a.m. When I go there tomorrow, I will be asking when, when, and when because I want to get. I like to get there like at 4:30. I usually don't start my workout till about 5, but you know, like at 4.30, like I'm prepping, I'm chilling, might be, you know, doing whatever. Then at 5 o'clock, I can start, you know, I'm going to get work to 7.45. That gives me enough time to do my workout and to get dressed and go back go to street to work. But um, I'm going to start going back to the gym early, AF. I'm going to start going to sleep on time because I got to get myself back into the mode. Because I know if I go into that office just like if I went today, tomorrow, honey, and each will be, will be dozing at that, will be dozing at that desk. Um, I'm gonna try to get me some, get my my. I'm just trying to get my mind right. Um, so when I go back to work, it flows and it doesn't um, feel like a shock to my body. Cause that's, <laughs> I know that's gonna be a shock to my body. <sighs> Honestly, okay, so I think that what's going to happen is, you know, they raise the mandate on the mask. You can, you, it's optional here in California if you want to wear a mask um, based on, what are you doing? Based on if you are vaccinated or not, you can opt to wear the mask. What are you doing? This McDonald's should be ashamed of themselves. I should go in. Um. It's optional to wear your mask. If you want to wear it, you can. 
if you're vaccinated. How the hell they know you vaccinated or not? Like, really, you know what I mean? So, we go in places and people don't be having no mask on. And I know all these people ain't vaccinated. But anyway, so, L.A. County has put the mandate for the mask back on. Like, it's not an option. You have to put it on because why? The numbers are rising again. The numbers are rising again. So I think it's gonna be coming over to San Bernardino County very soon. And I think we will be back home very soon. So, I'm just like this in the cut. Like, okay, y'all bring us back in the office if you want to. Well, the way that they have it, everybody's not gonna be in the office because they have it staggered. That's why I'm still gonna be able to work from home on Thursdays and Fridays. But on Monday through Wednesday, I'll be working in the office. I still have every other Monday off. So some weeks I'll be just there Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But I don't think it's gonna last long. And if it does, I'll be very surprised. Okay, so yeah, I don't think that that will last long. I'll show you guys my flowers right now. Here's my flowers I got from Trader Joe's. Oh, that thing literally went straight into my nose. Child, this pointy thing literally entered my freaking nostril. God damn. <clears throat> Straight from the party. <laughs> Let me blow my nose because now my nose is itchy. Where's my tissue? McDonald's always out of something. Sorry for the inconvenience. We are not selling Coke at this time. Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee? The caramel one, please. 58 cents, she said. 58 cents. Oh, I need my card, honey. But this is good because I need to go back to my cash envelope system. If I had stick, stuck to it, I'd be okay. But Anitra didn't stick to the cash envelope system. But August is very near and we will start back up again. I'm going to tell you right now, my cash envelopes are depleted. I took all the monies out for different things. Okay. I was like, oh, I need this money. In. I don't need any money. In. I could try to replenish what was there and start over. I gotta see, is there money in there? I don't think there's money. I think there's money like in the car one. Speaking of, I need to get a little change. See, that came in handy. I need to get an oil change. The light came on just not too, um, a couple of days ago. We're all on a roll tonight. Women be sparky. All the men be dancing right. Trader Joe's, but before I do that, let me show you what I picked up at Target. Nothing major, but let me show you. Okay, so, so I just re-upped on some stuff. This L'Oreal Collagen Daily Moisturizer is bomb, okay? Um, I had tried to go without getting it, and I bought like a Trader Joe's one. This is like giving, I, I don't know, I need the, the thickness, and I need to know that my skin is being moisturized, so. I went back and got some of this, and this is only like $9, y'all. I got some more Bior strips, nose strips. I don't use them for just my nose. I use them on my face. I use them wherever I need a cleansing strip. Um, a review on these. I think Sephora sells a version of this, but it's like $20 for a pack. This one has 24 patches, but pretty much you put this on your blemish, your pimple, and you wear it overnight or whatever I don't know the directions are and it draws whatever that pimple has out so I don't know I don't usually get too many white heads I'm a blackhead type of girl so I don't know if it's gonna work on me but I think this is only like six or seven dollars so if it doesn't then it just doesn't work I get pimples white heads every once in a while but I don't know if this is for blackheads. I get blackheads where I'm needing to like extract that way. But it doesn't say if it's whiteheads. 
Oh, it does say it says works best on white heads. We gonna try it though. Because I get pimples like right up in here. I don't know. These are like hormonal. When it's right up in here, it's hormonal. So I'm trying to get all that together. But I'm gonna still use them. Next, I'm gonna show you what I got from Trader Joe's. Let me get the stuff out the bags though. I got two things of this organic baby broccoli. These were so good. The last time I went to the Trader Joe's, I got one of these because I had never tried just this regular um, baby broccoli, but I love them. So I got two of them this week. I wanted some asparagus, but the asparagus at Aldi and even the asparagus at Trader Joe's didn't look that great. So I just got this asparagus spears. Um, I got two of them and I am also going to make, um, uh, what's the other thing called? Because I still have one bag of Brussels sprouts. So these, those will be my vegetables for the week. Let me put these in the freezer. Next, I got another thing of hand sanitizer. Some more face and body wipes. I love them. I got some more olive oil spray. I saw this new seasoning. This is, why do seasonings be all having these weird names? People can't say, Ajika, Ajika, Georgiana. Hold on. Ajika Georgian. Georgian. See, so I got it because it says spicy garlicky. That's that got me right there. Garlicky. So I got this because it's a new seasoning. I got some um organic spicy honey. Now I got this because my thought is I think this will be good on avocado toast. I don't know why. Because I'm very plain Jane when it comes to food. But for some reason, I feel like this will be good, like as a drizzle on avocado toast. Let's see what the macros are. I know it's not good. Here we go. Boom. One tablespoon is 70 calories. Zero fat. Where's the carbs? 17 carbs. Um, zero protein. So, yeah. I got some sweet and spicy pecans. 220 calories for one quarter cup, 30 grams, which is 20 fat, um, seven carbs, and it's blurry. My God, I can't see. Three protein. Then I got some mango slices. Um, let's see. Four, four pieces, which is 38 grams. For this, this is something I'd measure out instead of trying to get four pieces. I want my 38 grams, okay? So for one serving, it's 130 calories, zero fat, 32 carbs, and one, less than one gram of protein, so no protein. So these mangoes, they have one that's like called a juicy, juicy one, but that one has sugar like literally on it. So I won't buy those, but I will buy these, um, literally unsalt what does it say unsulfured unsweetened ones but these are good so that's what i got you guys oh this coffee okay so this coffee i figured i'd use it when i want my protein coffee instead of making coffee and trying to cool it down i will always ha already have this in my refrigerator and go from there and it's concentrate so I'll use it like it's yeah, it is hours later my meat actually has been thought out for a long time all I did was put it in a big bowl of water here it is and it's thawed so it is eight o'clock and I'm barely meal prepping um I was just sitting there chilling but let me put you down and we will start the prep Okay, guys, so I've washed these potatoes and I'm just gonna half in them and put them in here. Let me get a knife. Where's my knife? Okay.
finally it's 10 p.m but let me show you what i have um there's really not much of a difference than the last time that i meal prepped but i'll show you so for my protein i am having the um grilled chicken again and the ground turkey and let me put that together the carb is going to be these roasted potatoes that i made and some jasmine rice and then the vegetables i have the asparagus in the freezer you guys saw that earlier um some brussels that i cleaned and prepped and some baby broccoli that i cleaned and prepped so what i do is when I'm ready to eat, I just weigh out my meat, my carb. I don't really weigh out my veggies, but I need to start. I need to start doing that, but I just throw those in and I warm them up on the stove pretty much. So that's how I've been doing it. And um, yeah, it's been working out pretty well. So I'm going to sit down and plan out my day tomorrow as far as my meals because I want to log stuff in. I got the hiccups. I don't, oh, it hurt. Um, trying to let those cool down. I can put these vegetables in. Um, I'm going to plan out my meals so I can know exactly what's to come. And what I've been doing is, so what I do is I plan um, my meals around the protein that I'm gonna have and then go from there okay so whatever protein I'm deciding to have I put that in I put it in for breakfast lunch dinner or whatever the meals and then I go from there okay because that's my focus so I want to put them all in first and then see what I have to um, have to work with so i'm not in there like okay let me uh figure out how long to bless it no it's none of that i know exactly what it is so i'm gonna sit here and finish that up and then i'm writing out my workout for the mor for tomorrow morning because tomorrow's monday it's a new week new goals new whatever new intentions new all of that okay so um yeah um, I'm thinking that I will record uh, what I eat in a day tomorrow. Although I said I wasn't going to be recording them, I said I was going to be recording them very far, few, and in between. Here we go. So tomorrow I'm going to be recording that. That's what I want to do. That's my, that's my intentions on doing it. So it's going to be vlog style, of course, like I always do. Um, I'm going to the gym in the morning, so I'm going to try to record that, but my gym workouts that I've been doing are most likely going to kind of be the same because I'm I'm doing a how can I explain this I'm doing two different programs at once okay so I'm doing a five by five program and on the days that the five by five five program have hit hit cardio you know it's like a hit cardio weight training situation I'm going to be doing a different program on those days so um most likely tomorrow will not tomorrow's workout is the five by five and you guys have seen it before so i mean i record little bits and pieces but it's pretty much the same thing the squat the barbell um bicep curl the just the basic in the five by five program that i'm doing is just compound movements okay but anyway i'm just going into too much detail right now because i can tell you all this tomorrow right um so that is the end of the video thank you for watching i appreciate you guys once again if you're new here and you made it this far thank you for watching please consider subscribing to this channel for those that are returning hey y'all how y'all doing i hope you had a great weekend i hope you're going to have a great week well no let's say not hope you will have a great week i don't know about your weekend child I hope you had a good weekend, <laughs> but you will have a good week. And um, yeah, I'm just about to lay out. Um, I've already showered and got myself ready for the morning. I'm done because I'm just rambling at this point. My name is Anitra. Go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I will talk to you guys a couple of days. Thinking Bye, guys. myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. 
Yeah, you 